So this device here is a self-contained power supply. As you can see, it's very small. Uh, so it has some writing on it. Uh, unfortunately, it's got some, so got some uh, discoloration and markings on here. This, when this arrived, it was wrapped in some kind of uh, shrink wrap, and I didn't unwrap it for some months. And it looks like maybe in the recent um, heat wave, the uh, the shrink wrap sort of stuck itself to the um, to the plastic of this, and I I couldn't really get it off without um, making a mess of it. But on the legend here, it says um, AC ninety volts to two six four volts uh, output five volt DC. What does that say? I can't quite make it out. Oh, three watts. Okay. So you've got the AC side here, and then you have the DC output here. And if I turn it over, you can see, you know, it's a completely potted in device with just the AC pins here and the DC out. So this is obviously for low power applications. It's extremely small. But this is, this is the kind of thing that you would put in maybe into a, a TV so that you've got a standby. So here you would you have a device here that can provide enough current for you know driving the infrared circuit board and driving the a relay which would then switch on the main power supply for the TV to run the screen and so on. Um, and you know obviously the, you can think of various applications where you might want a, a low power standby and then uh, you know a, a way of switching on the more power hungry components as and when they're needed so i'm going to attach some mains wires to here and just do a bit of measurement to make sure this is working Right, so I've assembled this now. So we've got a um, line from a mains plug coming through here. We've got the live going through a very small fuse. It's a um, 0.2 amp fuse. I thought I wouldn't take any chances. Um, and there is an exposed wire there, so I'm going to be extremely careful testing this. And then I've got a couple of these uh, DuPont leads coming off the 5 volt side. So. Uh, let's switch it on, see what happens. Okay, so nothing's exploded, so that's good. Voltage check. Oh, that's dancing around a bit. I'm not sure whether that's working. see for some reason DC there we go five volts right so we've got five volts coming out of there Second there. 
Okay, so the yellow is positive. So, we've got a low voltage circuit running off it. LED display as well. So it's not warm at all. But I would expect it to be. I would expect it not to be warm because it's going to be some kind of switching power supply. So that's a cool little thing. So um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use it, but um, very useful to have a low voltage standby power supply so recommended